I am not in support of you opening a business. I don't have the money for it. Do you want me to steal? God forbid it. I will never want you to steal. Then what do you want me to do? Sammy, look, I just need to look for another job. I've been jobless for too long. And have I not been doing enough? Rookie, have I not been doing enough to sustain the both of us? I work tirelessly to put food on the table, yet it is never enough. You show no gratitude or appreciate anything. Sammy, how can you say that? I only want to look for a job to sustain you and I. Look, I'm grateful for everything you're doing. Please stop it! Stop it! Stop it, rookie! Stop the pursuit of pockets for a job! It hates me for crying out loud! Listen. I don't want to have this conversation with you ever again in this house. Let this be the last time. I hope you can call me again. I uh, really had a nice time with you. Mm, yeah, um, I'll call you soon. That was what you said the last time. I had to call you so we could spend some time together. You know I'm a very busy person at work and um, all of that, but don't worry, I'll, I'll call you. Mm? Okay. Take good care of yourself. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Take care of myself. And I'll miss you so much. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, love. <laughs> Bye. Ah. What? For how long do you intend to keep living this lifestyle? Different women every other week. Is your wife going to live in this place that you've turned into a brothel? No, no. You're getting it wrong. I, I don't intend to get married. Yeah, come on, my life is awesome. I'm living the best life. <laughs> no, no, you're not. If you keep up this way, you're not going to end well. Oh. And does a poor girl know you're traveling? I heard you telling her you were going to call her soon. I don't intend to call her again. Oh, who are you taking along this time? Taking what? Who? I'm going over myself. No woman is worth it. No woman. <laughs> oh. How many times have I told you I don't want to see you talking with another man? So Sammy, is that why you embarrassed me? He was only asking for directions. He lost his way. Oh, he lost his way. And when did you become his Google map for him to be requiring from? Doesn't he have a phone? Why must he stop his car to ask you? Nuruki, didn't he see others around? Must it be you? Sammy, look, it's, it's not a big deal. Besides, I even know the place. Don't you ever in your life tell me it is not a big deal again. It is a big deal to me and as such you'll have to always do as I say. You are my woman. I clothe you, I feed you, I ride you and as such you will do as I say. Oh, by the way, have, have you done it? I hope he did not come out with a doctor to deceive me. No, I... Have you removed it? Yes. Are you still angry with me? You've gotten rid of it, so what else do you want me to do? Sammy, this is the second time I am doing it. And I did it to please you. 
but I will not be doing that anymore. Look, no matter what you say, I will not be terminating any other pregnancy. Are you trying to disrespect me? Are you trying to get me pregnant again? If it happens again, you would use contraceptives. Sammy, if you don't use protection, I cannot be taking any more contraceptive pills. <laughs> when that time comes, when I need you to open the legs of yours, Rookie, please don't. That is only when you will see another version of me you haven't seen before. Don't make me to take it forcefully. It is mine. And mine alone. to jam. Well, you just went like that. No, look, I lost my uncle and then my auntie threw me out. Ever since then, I've just been hustling from one job to another around me, but I'm so sorry. That's such a sad story. Okay. But you have me now. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you again. Do you shop here often? Um, no, actually, I just came to pick up some liquor and stuff for my brother. Oh, okay. I come here sometimes. Actually, my boyfriend sent me over to get some things for him. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but sorry it might sound out of place and all of that, but if your boyfriend can shop, why, why do you look like this? You look so unkempt. Is that with your hair and makeup, nothing? Well, the thing is, my boyfriend doesn't like me putting on wigs, makeup and all of that, you know. He just likes this whole natural look thing going on. Uh, he says if I dress so well, many men will not let me dress so well. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, but you know what? Just give me your number so I can call you, right? Uh, my phone is not here, so give me yours. Okay, come on. All right, okay. So, Mr. Ramon. Mm -hmm. My goodness, it's been such a while. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. All right, thank you. Here's my number, right? Yes. So, Rookie, call me. I will call you. Are you sure? Of course I'll call yes. you. Come on. So nice seeing you again. Lovely to see you. Oh, yeah. you really look nice. You look nice. <laughs> you took it right out of my mouth. Love All right. To see you. Take care, okay? Call me. Sure, sure. All right. Come on, you must not uh, You mustn't say that. Come on, stop. <laughs> Babe, if you really miss me that much, why don't you book my flight ticket to Lagos? And I'll be at your doorstep, right in your arms. And I'm going to eat you up like... Oh wow, by the way, uh, your body, mm, you're driving me crazy, I can't wait. See what you're missing, see what you're missing, see what you're missing. You know, <laughs> come on, come on, stop that. Uh, uh, <clears throat> um, you are 30 minutes late. I'm sorry, Sammy. The thing is, I mess up with an old friend of mine. Okay. Male or female? Female. 
She was my best friend in primary and secondary school. Thing is, we lost contact after writing our jam. Okay. But Sammy, you need to see her now. She's looking so beautiful. She even came in a car. I'm sure she's doing really great for herself. Hmm. I thought you went to public school. Yes, I did. <laughs> and she went to public school with you, right? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> How come she sounds rich to me? <laughs> Sammy, it does not matter that she went to a public school. I mean, I don't know what she's doing now with her life. We didn't really talk that much. She even gave me her number to reach out to her. Oh. She gave you her number so that she can introduce you to prostitution, right? Sammy! What? Isn't that why she gave you her number? So that you can call her for her to introduce you with men to sleep with. Isn't it Rookie? She is a prostitute. And if you're not careful, they'll use you for money ritual. I don't want to ever see you associate with her again. Do you hear me? If you do, that will be the end of our relationship. You either choose me or your friendship with her. Sam, it hasn't gotten to that. Besides, she has always been a good person. <sighs> People change over nights, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um... I know she gave you her number. But... I won't take it. I'll use it to test your loyalty towards me. Okay? So you better not call her behind my back. Okay? Keep looking at your phone. Are you expecting someone to call you? Yes, the old friend I met yesterday. She promised to call. Oh, maybe she changed her mind. No, she promised. <laughs> really? You don't know women. You should know. They never keep to their promises. Confused bunch. You have started again, Abby. What? You would have left your food. You are angry because I said the truth, right? Women are strange creatures. They never know what they want. Confused bunch. Very confused. You left your juice here though. You, you might as well come back for it. Nonsense. Sammy. Please, I'm begging you. Please, just allow me to see my mother, okay? Please. Look, you don't have to follow me, okay? Because I know you've told me countless times you would not want to see my mother until you're ready to pay my bride price. I understand that. And that is when I want you to see her too. Sabi, please, it's been such a while since I last saw my mom and she's, she's all alone. Well, she has been alone ever since I met you. Actually, Sammy, the last time I saw my mom was one week after I met you. Oh. You're blaming me now, right? Isn't it? I am now the reason why you haven't seen your mother since we've been together. Rookie. Hmm? I get where all of this is coming from. Because my friend visited and he gave you some money. Okay, no problem, you can go. I can go. 
Do you want me to say no? No, 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 no. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my daddy. Thank you. Listen, okay. You know what? Oh my God, thank you so much. Look, I'll spend just three days. You can actually spend a week. I don't mind at all. Babe, are you serious? Thank you. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm saying. I'm saying. i the saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. i i i i i i i i i i i i i I've told you this thing countless times. This whole thing is already telling on your body. You should not be hawking at this age. But if I don't hawk, I won't be busy now. Eh? And I will not be strong. Eh? See, let me tell you one thing. It's fresh foods that I do. Eh? When you are going back, it's not that you bought from the city. When you are going back, I'll give you fresh foods that you will <laughs> take. <laughs> eh? I trust you. I trust mm -hmm. you. But mama. Hmm? Getting older, you need to rest. If I rest, I will die. Ah, Mama, God will not allow that and to happen. And then allow to you. me to walk now so that I'll be strong. I can stretch my legs. Eh? <laughs> and that thing we discussed. Huh? Don't forget about it when we will. Eh? See, that boy you called your boyfriend. It's not worth it. Please, now. Eh? You are better off without him. Please, please, I want you to think about it. Okay, Mama. Think about it. You will. And you are fresh too. <laughs> <laughs> but you also eat my fresh food. Of course, of course. You I've sure? missed it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've missed it. I've missed you too. Wait, why is your driver not taking you to the airport? He's on leave. Ugh. So a few days ago, his wife delivered of a set of twins. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's good for him. Really good, I know. Um, I'll just, you know, park the car at the airport and pick it up when I'm back. But you know, despite it all, I'm going to miss your wahala. Look who's talking about wahala. That's not true. You know I don't have wahala. You're the one that got all the wahala. Mm? And trust me, I'm not going to miss you. But you know that's a lie. A big fat lie. And you know it. You know, this is the first time I'm going to be leaving you all alone in this house. Ah, uh, I know. Yeah. So I should meet it in one piece. I promise. Mm. You will. I mean, you really don't have friends, so I expect that you'll be the only one here when I'm back. Is that a shit? But you know that since I got here, I moved out of my apartment. I've never invited anybody over. My visa is my priority, okay? Alright, I hear you. Um, <laughs> your allowance is, is enough, right? Oh. Uh, more than enough. Thank you. And make sure you have. I don't even need to tell you to have one. I'm sure you're going to have one. You know that's the target. Enjoy yourself to the fullest. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Who are you? Where is Sammy? Oh, you're back. Look at the time you're coming back on a Friday night. Sammy, my boss broke down. And I called you several times, but you did not peek. I even had to use the last money on me to get a cab. Sammy, who is she? Actually, I... Oh, you know explanation, but she's my fiance. Hey, um. Sammy, is this a joke? Do I look like I am joking? You know what? Wait a minute. You'll find out if this is a joke or not. This shows how disloyal you are towards me. 
I don't trust you anymore, Ruki. I don't know who you are. You called her behind my back. And she hooked you up with a man. Sammy, I never called her. The, the number, I left the number in my bag. <sighs> you know what? I am. I am fed up. Yes. I am done with this relationship. Yes. As you can see, I am engaged. I am tired of you, your complaints. You nag too much. Sammy. Me. Rookie. Nag? You traveled without my permission. Sammy, you gave me the permission. You made that decision on your own. Sammy, I have done everything you've asked of me. What else do you want from me? Simple. Leave. Yes. And never come back. Sammy, please, you can't do this. Sammy, I don't know any... I, I don't know where to go. I don't, I don't know anybody around here. Please don't... And how is that my business? Get out. Just leave now. The mom of the house said leave. Go! We don't leave! Irritates me. Get out! Be fast. Get out! Hello? Where was this? Ah, Ruki, how are you? Where have you been? I've been expecting your call. You said you were going to call me. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm glad you called. What's up? What's going on? Ah, help? Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry you're stranded. Okay, you know what? Just, um... I'm coming to pick you right away. Just send me your location. I'm going to order it right now and get you. Just stay there. Don't go anywhere, okay? I'm coming. Um. You know what? I'm just quick. <laughs> Raise the pain, oh, and put the past where it belongs. Mm -hmm. To heal the hurt, proceed to right every single wrong. Oh, oh, oh. So not you having a way to fall. So not you they could fix my mind. So not you having the prayer for oh, 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 all of my life. Not you having a way to fall. So not you they could fix my mind. So not you having the prayer for oh, How can you be so heartless? I mean, you were going through all of this in the hand of this horrible man. He's so insensitive and egocentric, and yet you, you, you took his bullshit. Ashley, I had no choice. I, I did everything he asked me. And yet it was not enough. It wasn't. You stayed in the relationship and continued and let it the same relationship that was draining you of your dignity. Wait, listen, I'm your friend, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm highly, highly disappointed in you. Talk, Ashley, look, you know I have no one. I lost the only job I had because I refused my boss's advances. I was jobless when I met Sammy. Right now, I really can't go back home because my mother will not be happy with me. I know. But yet, you had the opportunity to call me, and you refused. You allowed him to control you. And then he had the guts to engage another woman. 
Wait, if he didn't throw you out, would you have called me? Oh, Ashley, look, really, I am really sorry about that, okay? It was just that I was just... Blinded in love, but clearly grown enough to make your own decisions. Ashley, I know, okay? I know. See, if you had called me earlier and told me about everything you were going through, I would have been able to help you out with some money or even help you get a place to stay or start up a business for you, but I'm low on cash. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Right now, we both need to get some rest. You especially, you need to rest. Look, Ashley, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you for everything that you've done, okay? I haven't done anything yet. Let me take you to your room. Okay. Okay. Here. So this is going to be your room, okay? I want you to be comfortable, okay? This is going to be your room for the time being until we can find something later. And you're very lucky my brother is not around. He's out for a month, so before he gets back, I should be able to help with the job and accommodation problem. Ashley. I don't know what you've done. I don't know how to express how grateful I am. Thank you. Don't express anything yet until I'm capable of helping you, okay? Giving me a roof over my head is of great assistance. Your kind is rare, Ashley. Thank you so much. Oh, stop, stop thanking me, okay? Try and get some sleep. Sleep, boo. It's not the end of the world, okay? You'll be fine, all right? Okay. I'll see you in the morning. All right, okay. Get some sleep, boo. It's not the end of the world. Thank you. If you thank me again, I'll punch your face. <laughs> Good, morning. Good morning. You know you don't have to do this. It's not your job. Come on. And my brother has a housekeeper to do all of this. He works on the weekdays. He only goes off on the weekends. Listen, it doesn't have to be my job for me to do it, okay? I mean, while I'm here, I can just clean around. But I didn't bring you here to clean. I know. Look, I am just doing this because I am bored. That's all, okay? In that case, I'll just call the cleaner and tell him to take a break. He was due for leave anyway. I was going to tell my brother, but my brother traveled. So I'll call him. Okay. <sighs> Are you cooking? Yes, I'm actually making breakfast for you and I. You're in life, <laughs> You don't know they have a... See, I was... See, the hunger that woke me up, eh? I was just about to order for food. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> This smells, uh, smells so divine. Aww. I'm sure you can cook. <laughs> Thank you. So, so good to have you. Same here, same here, same here. You know what? If this food that you're cooking actually tastes good and I'm still living in this house, you're going nowhere. <laughs> you're not serious. I am not joking. I'm serious, <laughs> Matao. I hate to cook. I cannot do it to save my life. And you see my brother, when it comes to him and food, he's so choosy. He even gave me food allowance before he traveled. Wait, wait, wait. Food allowance? Yes. Food allowance. Because <laughs> I cannot come and kill myself. I cannot cook. And him, on the other hand, is he doesn't even have the time for it. So usually he grabs his food on his way back from work. Wait, hold on. Doesn't he have a girlfriend who can cook for him? Girlfriend? That's one. Please leave the story for another day, please. <laughs> My brother is the strangest human being. Ah. Please, I'm too hungry to have this just a bit. <laughs> I need food. Oh, yeah. Let me go oh. finish it up. Please, if it's not ready, Steph, I'll eat it like that. No, don't drink, drink, drink. <laughs> You have to be patient. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
This egg is so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I want to make a suggestion here. Okay. And I don't want you thinking I want to take it for granted. Um, what is it? There's nothing to worry about. It's just that, you know, I've been thinking that since you're going to be staying here, you can as well just take over the cooking. We can go to the supermarket and we can pick up groceries with my food allowance. You know, that would be amazing. Listen, mm -hmm. we don't have to go to the supermarket unless you want to buy some provisions. We can just go to the market. No, nah, I don't want to stress you. You will not be stressing me. I am used to going to the market. I you love, sure? Yeah, I love cooking. And Ashley, you will not be taking me for granted, okay? <laughs> well, we can as well just finish the food and then we have a lot to talk about, you know? Okay, you know what? Why don't we go to the market first, then I cook, and then we can have a long conversation. Well, that's fine, mommy. So if I'm not doing anything. <laughs> no problem, it's fine. <laughs> Hmm. This egg. <laughs> you. I can see it your own. Mm. I know you must be wondering why I mentioned I was out of cash. Well, if not for this allowance, I'm financially down. But that's because I'm working on my way out of the country. Wait. You want to leave Niger? Yes, I'm relocating. I'm actually waiting on my visa to America to come out, but I know to pull through. I actually just gave out some of my belongings away a few days after I saw you. Babe, come on, cheer up. But there's life, there's hope. Can I wish I called you on that day? <laughs> you say life is unpredictable and things happen for many reasons. When my brother gets back, I'll talk to him into looking to get you a job at his company. Although they are overcrowded and overstaffed, because he mentioned it before he traveled, he complained about it. Do you think he can get me a job somewhere else? Well, I don't know. My brother doesn't like to beg. <laughs> He's my blood and all, but he has many bad sides. Come on, girl. I believe there is a good side in everybody. <laughs> Well, in his defense, well, he's good to me and my elder sister, so. Yeah, I remember your elder sister back in school. She was a senior and the head girl, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you remember? Of course I remember. Wait, Oma. Are you trying? You remember her name? <laughs> I mean, how can I forget? She was the neatest. Oh, my yeah. goodness. You know, back then, I did not know that you had an elder brother. Well, I do. You see, when my father sent my sister and I to public schools, he sent his son to a private school. It's just quite unfortunate that, you know, he became successful after we lost our parents. I'm so sorry to hear that. Nah, it's okay. I mean, he gave them befitting burials, so I'm sure my father will be proud of him. So where is Oma now? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. She's married now with oh. two kids. And the third one is on the way. Wow. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Time flies, you oh know. But I... I intend to go join her when she puts to bed. At least while I wait for my visa to come up. Well, hold on. You mean you're going to leave me here alone? No, no. I'll try and get you an accommodation. Besides, I don't even want my brother to meet you here. I don't want you to know him. Why? Well, because he has issues I can't explain. Listen, I love him and all. But there's something about him he needs to change. And he's not aware you're here. You do not tell him that I'm living in his house. Rookie, there's nothing to tell him. He cannot know you are here. Well, I'm just here and it's just for a short period of time. He knows that. Besides, they didn't want to leave the house empty. He had to leave someone in it. But you know what? We have a lot of time to plan out before he gets back. So. Okay. Okay. <sighs> oh, you must be really tired. You know what? You should just go inside and sleep. We can still discuss later. Mm? Sleep, okay? <laughs> you said that you're still. Fire. <laughs> it reminds me so much of my mom. Are they going to me, Joe? <laughs> I'm not. No, come and do something. All right, that's right. All this food you've been eating, so you've not added a single weight. Mm -mm. Where's the food entrance? Eh? My stomach. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? That sounds like my brother's car. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. What happens now? What, what, what do I do? Hey, hey, hey. Go upstairs, go upstairs. Lock yourself in oh, a room. Okay, okay. Please don't make a sound. Okay, okay, okay. 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 What is this you? Go now. Hey! hey. Alex, you're back. Yes, I oh, am. Hey. Vacation cancelled. Cancelled? Yeah. What happened? Well, I mean, I think it's my fault. I, I made the mistake by checking my mail and discovered that I have an unfinished contract. Oh, yeah. But why did you cancel the vacation, eh? You worked too hard. Too, too hard. You need to, you know, rest. All you do is work, work, work. Yeah, I, I know that. But, you know, at, at least I, I try to find time for oh, rest. Yes, yeah, even if it's for a short period. You know, but I'll just postpone the vacation till next year. Next year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Me? <laughs> of course, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. Uh, let me get, let me take your bags upstairs, okay? Uh, but wait, uh, this, this place really smells nice. Uh, did, did you order? Because I'm starving. Uh, that's not your problem. Don't worry. I'll get you some tea. Just let me take your bags upstairs, okay? Careful. Okay, I'll just watch TV or something. Ah. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. What are you up to? Um, I'll just take a long bath and then I'll join you, okay? Okay, so... Do you want to tell me something? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing at all. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry I didn't buy anything for you, okay? Um, That's okay, I understand. Great, great. <laughs> but yeah. then I, I, I promise you, I, I owe you something, okay? I'll make I it up to you. I trust you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. All right. See you shortly. Bye. Yeah. Did you tell him? No, I did not tell him. I, I, I don't even know how to go about it. Why did, why did he even come back so early? The vacation is off. Okay, so what are we going to do now? I don't know. And he said he's hungry. You know what? Let me just get his food ready before he comes out. Okay, yeah, that's fine because I already lied to him that I ordered it. And if he likes your food, I can confidently bring you up, you know? And then you can keep cooking for him till you find your place. Okay, that's fine by me. Look, I just need a roof over my head before I get back that's, on my that's feet. Not, that's not a problem at all. But right now, you need to move it. You need to do it so that he doesn't see. I don't want him to see you before I bring you up. Okay. Ashley. Perfect. I was just coming to call you. Oh, this looks really nice. I know, right? I'm sure it tastes good too. I hope you like it. Yeah, I will. Emmy. You okay. may get this. Mm. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> mm. Come on, take another spin. It tastes so good. Are you enjoying it? Reminds me of mom. Shay, I said it. I was telling. 
<laughs> you were telling? Nah, never mind. Uh, just call me when you're done, right? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Where did you get that food from? It's really nice. I like it. Really? Yeah. It's a regular customer. I think she has changed the recipe. It's a regular <laughs> customer. It's not how. Really? Uh, so this is a new food vendor. Uh, actually, bro. Um, there's something I need to talk to you about. What's that? I need a favor. Oh, Ashley, what's the favor? You see, I have... And well, an old friend of mine needs accommodation and I kind of mentioned she could stay here. Ashley, you know, that's not possible. I love my privacy. I mean, even you, you are here for a very short time. No, listen, Rookie's not going to stay for long. She's going to just be here for a bit. See, she's going through a lot. She had issues with her boyfriend and she's not going back to him and she has no one, no one. I'm not interested in her life history, okay? I don't care if she's homeless, it's none of my business. Listen, she was my best friend in school, okay? And she doesn't have any, she doesn't have any roof over her head. You, you can't help her now. You, you owe me, you said you owe me. But listen, I, got, I won't be coerced or manipulated by you, okay? I, I owe you a favor, right? I can take it back and I owe you nothing. She's a nice girl. She's a very nice girl. I promise you, she's not going to get in your way. In fact, you won't even notice she's here. Good, Ashley. Tell your friend to get shelter somewhere else. I, I don't run an orphanage home. She's not an orphan. She was the one that made the food you, you ate. Wait. What did you say? No, well, you heard me. She made the food you ate. Wait. You... You gave me food prepared by your so-called friend? But you were enjoying the food and you were licking your fingers like you were going to bite them off. Listen, I, I won't tolerate such sarcasm from you. What's that for? <clears throat> Wait. Is... Is your friend in this house? Your so-called friend, is she in this house? Came yesterday night and I kind of told her that she could stay. What kind of insult is that? How is that an insult? I didn't know you were going to cancel your vacation. Oh, no wonder you were, you were, you were not happy to see me, right? You, you think I didn't notice that? Okay. I, mean, I should have known you, you had an ulterior motive. That's not true. What, what does that mean? Uh, of course I missed you. Listen, I, I won't trade words with you. Get that thing out of my house and that's fine now. Bro, bro. <laughs> You talk too much. Can I stay here? Yes. Of course you can stay. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my god, thank you. I'm so grateful. You better keep it down before he changes his mind. I hope he doesn't. So happy. God, I don't know how I can thank him. It's okay, you know what? You can thank him, but he's in his room right now. Yeah. Maybe when next you see him, just tell him thank you. <laughs> Actually, look. You're such a good friend. I know. And I'll never forget all you've done for me. I wonder what you must have told him to persuade him for me to stay here. We are friends, and what are friends for if they can't help each other out? Come on, I got your back. And I've got yours too. Thank you. All right, uh, I have something I'm doing now. Come check up on you later. Okay. Set okay. leave.
Good evening, sir. Uh, thank you very much for allowing me to stay here. Uh, Ashley told me you will not regret it, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you still harbor hatred for women, Orcus Freda left you for a rich man while you were in the university. I've told you, all women are not the same. They are the same, excluding you. But I'm a woman. Yeah, that's, that's a huge difference. You're my sister. Please now, Alexander Benson. Listen to me, I'm your sister. Rookie's not here to get close to you. Tell your friend to get the hell out of my house. I don't know her. I, I don't wish to know her. I, I don't even find her attractive. She, she's not my type. More reason you should let her stay. She's not your type. Ashley, I don't know why you lied to her. Or tell your friend to get out of my house. Wait, why are you so proud and arrogant? Listen, I'm your sister and right now your attitude stinks. I'm just gonna disregard the very awful statement you just made. Because I love you. Well, if you love me, you would let her stay. Wow. You know, it's getting really late. Tell your friend to leave my house first thing tomorrow morning. Please leave and shut the door behind you. Well, if you're so cold hearted, why don't you tell her yourself? Mm. Ashley, you didn't have to lie to me. It was so obvious that he does not want me to stay here. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Well, I thought if he saw you, he was going to have a change of heart. He needed to see the way your brother looked at me. I have never been looked at in that way in my entire life. I'm sorry. Ashley, do I smell? Ugh. Of course not, no. Am I ugly? Babe, you're beautiful. And anybody that doesn't see that, obviously, is blind. Then why does he seem to hate me at first glance? He doesn't hate you, okay? Okay, listen, let me tell you a story. You see, while he was in the university, he had a girlfriend he trusted with his life. He loved her to the moon and back, but during their final year, she left him for a rich allergy. Yes. And he left him very devastated. So he made up his mind that he was not going to deal with any other woman. Of course, except for myself and Oma. But then is that enough reason for him to be hostile towards women? Well, she dumped him the same period we lost our parents in a car crash. As if that wasn't bad enough. She knew our parents. I know she didn't owe us anything, but the least she could have done was pay her last respect. To top it off. She got married the same day we were burying our parents. Goodness. <laughs> so you see, it's not like he hates you. My brother worked so hard to get himself back. Too, too hard. In fact, the moment he graduated and got a job, all he did was focus on the job day in, day out. He almost broke him. He was so depressed, but he never gave up. Well, the breakthrough came when he pitched his game idea to the Chinese company he was working for. Wow. <laughs> I know. You know the first thing he did when he got his salary? What? He gave our parents the burial they deserved. It's amazing. So you see, he's an amazing person. Huh? And I still believe in him. He's not going to throw you out. He's not a wicked person. Cheryl, come on, relax. 
Okay? Okay, I guess. Alright, I'll see you. Okay. Okay. Oh, Maelo, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm sure she wasn't with her phone, that's why she didn't answer. What? But it's not even up to nine months yet. <sighs> oh God. Okay, I'll inform her and, and she'll be on her way tomorrow. Uh, she would leave first in the morning. Yeah, just please update us, okay? Boy. Um, Alma's husband said he tried to call you. You weren't picking and then he called me. What happened? My phone is not with me. Alma is in labor. What? But well, she's not full term. Same thing I told him. She's just seven months. Oh my goodness. Does that mean she's going to have a premature baby? <laughs> oh no. Oh. Listen, just, just be calm, okay? Alma is going to be fine. I want her and the baby to be fine. They will be fine. That means I have to leave for Abuja first thing tomorrow morning. I already told him that I'll book your flight. You leave in the morning. Wait, 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 wait. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. How about my friend? Wait, be human now, please. Let her stay. See, I promise, I promise. I'm not going to ask you to get her a job or give her money to start a business. There's no vacancy. I'm also not a money lender. I know. Okay, when I get back, I'll try and never get a job. Or better still, when I relocate and get a good business. You know, I can, I can give her some money. I know I'll get a good job. She's not staying for too long. Wait, wait. Does that mean you've agreed for her to stay? Do I have a choice? <laughs> You're the best brother in the entire world. You know I am. <laughs> Thanks. Tell your friend not to thank me. But why? She shouldn't thank me. Okay. Her name is Ruki. I don't care. And she should not meddle in my business. She won't. Thank you. Have you heard from him? No, he's not picking my calls. He's also not picking my call. I wonder what's going on right now. Why is he not picking our calls now? Why? Mm. Has she given birth? Were there complications? Is Oma okay? Actually, I... actually, it's okay. So just calm down, okay? Listen, it's okay. Just calm down. You have to be optimistic and hopeful. I know it's not easy, but everything will be fine. It's okay. Okay, look, see. To be honest with you, I was actually born a preemie baby. Yes. My mother had me when she was seven months pregnant. You're saying that to make me feel better. Look, I don't have to lie. Listen, your sister and the baby will be fine. All right? Is that a Kenne? Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. Kenne? How's my sister? Why were you not picking your calls now? Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so how is she? How's the baby? Great, great. Yes, he's here. Hold on. Congratulations! Oh my God! You see how? We were worried. Ah, thank God, thank God. She, she's gonna leave first thing in the morning, first flight. And please let me know when I can speak with Alma, okay? All right, thank you. <sighs> Apparently, he was with the doctor. That's why he couldn't pick up. See, so far, Alma and the baby are fine. Nothing else matters right now. I'm telling you. I'm so glad. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, it's late. I really need to go to bed now, okay? I have to go to bed too. Good night. All right, good night. Good night, sir. Babe, okay. Okay. Listen. Mm -hmm. I know living with my brother is going to be very difficult when I'm gone. But I can assure you, you're in good hands. I don't know how I can live under the same roof with him alone. Like, I, don't, I don't know how to keep malice. See, you have a good heart, okay? And I know that I'll believe in my brother with a good woman. 
But please, I'm going to beg you. And whatever he says or does to you, please, please find it in your heart to forgive him for my sake. You don't have to tell me. I will. I know he's not <laughs> going to want to have anything to do with you. I can assure you that. But listen, he, he might be difficult to live with and all of that, but he has a soft heart. Okay? And I can assure you, he's not going to harm you physically. Whatever my brother does, feed him. <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> Oh, God. Mm. Oh, God, I'm so worried. I know, right? But thank God everything is fine. Good evening, sir. Uh, I placed your food on the table. I did not know you I'm not eating your food. food. Can I keep you so I can eat it later? Get rid of it. Okay, I'll just keep saying. Hey, hey, hey. I would warn you. Stay away from me. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you were the one. I'm so sorry for badging in on you. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Morning, sir. Breakfast is ready. Can you I clean the house this morning? I did. I thought I was supposed to be the housekeeper's job. Why did you do it? The housekeeper isn't coming. How come you know of that information and I don't? I think Ashley forgot to inform forgot you. Forgot what? To inform me about what? She felt it was unnecessary for the housekeeper to resume work while we were away on vacation. So she asked him to go on a break. So he's on leave. Why did Ashley do that without my permission? I think she tried to call you. I wasn't expecting an answer from you. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. with me. I only get to see him in the morning and at night when he returns. Okay, you need to snap out of this. He has given you a roof over your head. He feeds you. What else do you want? Well, he doesn't owe you anything. Alexander Benson does not owe you anything. Be contented with what you have. Be grateful. So, um, welcome to my home. Thank you. Please sit. You have a very beautiful place. Yeah, thank you. Uh, where's this girl? Uh, what's her name again? Um, someone. Welcome, sir. Where have you been? Making dinner for you. Okay, so as you can see, I, I have a guest, so make for two, okay? Okay. Yeah, quickly, quickly, okay. quickly. You know what, beautiful? Um, let me just show you around. Right? Uh, uh, <laughs> this way. Yeah.
This is so tasty. How come she knows how to make me kind of rice so well? <laughs> really? You like it? I love. Mm. It's just that I'm on a diet. She have asked for more. Really? <laughs> is she a private chef? No, she just um, she just cooks for me. Oh. <laughs> well. Take this for you. Um. Can't mm. remember her name. Ashley's friend. Mm. Oh. So you called? Yeah. Tell her what you want for breakfast. I want noodles with vegetable and then eggs and then mm. sausage. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, would you want me to yeah, serve? Just, let's go. 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 <laughs> Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Mm. Yeah, come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, babe. Your food is ready. I can see that. Oh. Where's my juice? Oh, you needed some juice? What kind of stupid question is that? Are you that dumb? I'm sorry, I'm going to get you some. Don't worry. Um, babe. Yeah. Please, I'll be back from work. Can you get me a little juice? I thought you were leaving once you're done with breakfast. Alex! Hey, hey, listen. Don't ever call me Alex. I don't like that name. So insensitive. Listen, I'm not insensitive. I'm just being realistic, okay? We are not in a relationship. Get that into your head. Listen, I'll send you money, all right? Whenever I need you, I'll call you. Once you're done with your breakfast, make sure you get out of this house. I'll send you some money. Really? Hello, Mr. Alexander. Can I please talk to you? Oh, please go ahead. Be fast. Don't waste my time. Uh, I need a job, sir. I don't know if you can help me. Oh, I thought you had a job already. I don't. Oh, I thought you were already doing the housekeeping and, and, and cooking. So, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to give you some money. Even if it's not up to a month, I'll, I'll pay you in full. Okay? So just... You don't have to pay me for that. I actually enjoy cleaning and cooking. I'm an accounting graduate, sir. <laughs> really? Yet you allow a man control your life. Sad. You know what? I, I'm just I'm just gonna pay you for your services. Oh. Services you've rendered, okay? Just but, just leave. But but sir oh, the... Um Ashley's friend, yeah? Can can you just leave? My name is Rookie. I don't care what your name is. It's none of my business. It doesn't add food on my table, does it? Please leave. Now. Hey, beautiful. You know, I've, I've been waiting for you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm here. <laughs> Come and sit. Thank sit. you. Yeah. Welcome to my home. Nice place. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so uh, tell me, what do I offer you? Mm, anything. Anything. Juice, water, whichever one. <laughs> you know what? I'll be right back with a glass of juice. Okay? <laughs> See you soon. I'm coming. Whew.
Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. So, mm -hmm. do you live alone? Oh uh, no, my, my sister's friend is here. Why would your sister's friend live here? Man, my, my sister wants her here. It's just for a short while though. Then get her an apartment. You're capable, aren't you? Except you're beginning to get comfortable with her. Uh, not at all. I mean, we, we barely interact with each other. Then why is she still here? You must be the friend to Alexander's sister, yeah? Yes, I am. Yes. Um, I was just coming downstairs to make dinner. Oh, <laughs> my boyfriend wanted to call you to make me dinner, but I prefer making my own meals. You're cooking? Yes. Uh, do you have a problem with that? Oh, no, no, not at all. Wow, you seem quite nice. I think I prefer you to the other woman. Oh. What other woman? Come on, look. I'm sure they're no longer together, okay? So just ignore my statement. <laughs> you can't leave, at least. Not yet. You're trying to tell me that there is another woman in his life. Listen, I don't want to cause any problems. Oh, trust me. I won't make sure, okay? Just, just tell me the truth. This woman, when last did she come here? She was here last week. Last week? Oh, listen, just, okay, you know what? I did not mean to upset you, okay? It's not... I am not upset! Do I look upset? Ashley's friend! Hey, come, come here, come. What did you say to her to make her leave? I didn't tell her anything. Then how did she know that another woman was here last week? Did you ask her? Are you questioning me? Well, that is because I don't have an answer to your question. You're getting really bored. But stay away from me. Stay away from my business, Ashley's friend. This is my last warning. Why can't you address me by my name? Why is it so difficult for you to call me Rookie? Are you stalking me? And why would I want to stalk you? Ashley's friend, if you have nothing better to do with your time, just leave. You have to talk to me. I have nothing to say to you. You've not answered my question. Why can't you address me by my name? You coward. First thing in the morning, make sure you get out of this house. Apart from leave my house, what other thing can you say? What are you so afraid of? Who are you to ask me that question? How dare you talk to me like that? When you look at me, what do you see? If this is a game, I'm not playing it with you. What do you see when you look at a woman? Because ever since I came into this house, there is this way you look at me. Why do you hate me? I don't hate you. I don't hate anyone. I just don't like you. Why? What have I done to you to hate me like I said that? I don't hate you! Look, I know that a woman hurt you in the past. As she told me. But you cannot look at any other woman the same way. Women will always be women. So unpredictable untrustworthy bunch we are not the same yes you are 
all of you. I am a woman. So you see us all the same. So what do you see? What do you see when you look at a woman? Deception. Impudence. Fakeness. You come into a man's life like a thief in the night. You let him in and you steal his heart away. You milk him dry. You drain him. You come into his life for his money. You lie. You cheat. You betray. Men have emotions. Men feel. Men cry. So how do you feel now? Empty. Make sure you get out of this house tomorrow morning. What is it? Why are you crying? Where are you going to? What is it? I just want to go, Ashley. Please, let me just go, okay? Let me just go. Why? Why? What happened? Did, did my brother do something? Did he say something to you? I know he would never hit you, so he must have said something awful, right? Is that it? Talk to me now. Why are you crying? Huh? I remember you saying that he would never hurt me physically. Yes, true. It is true that he is not a violent man, but he hurt me emotionally. Rookie, Rookie, are you in love with my brother? <sighs> Stop crying. Stop crying. Come on. Stop crying. Stop. I thought something had happened. Are you? Oh, that's so cute. Right, right. Come on. Huh? What? Huh? Ashley, are you back? I, I, I thought you were going to be back tomorrow. Welcome back. What is it? You should be excited now that you're back. You've been issued your visa, so when are you traveling? Alexander. What? What has my friend done to you? You know she told me everything you said and did while I was away. And I have told you, all women are not the same. You need to let go of the past and let people into your life. And hurts me, right? No one is hurting you. You built a wall around your heart so high that no woman can penetrate it. You know, you need to break down that wall so you can start experiencing what it means to be loved. I'm not ready. Not now, or ever. Do you know that if I had not returned today, Rookie would be gone and never to return? She was going to leave? Yes. Anyway, I told her not to go. I don't know, I'll try and change her wardrobe and also, you know, rent a place before I leave and start her business. I don't mind taking a loan to start it. You were going to do that for her? Yes, I was going to do that for her because that is what friends do. Something you know nothing about because you don't have friends. Anyway, I pleaded with her on your behalf. I, I didn't do anything. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You see, I'm not even going to sit here and listen to you because I know you are not going to apologize. So, Alexander, I'll you... I'll apologize. You... Hmm? It's not locked, it's open. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you were the one. It's okay. It's fine. Um, I know that I may not have treated you nicely. Yeah, I know that um, I've been mean and disrespectful to you. I've said really awful things to you. It's unfair. And I apologize for the way I have treated you and acted towards you. Um, sorry. Yeah, 
Um, I... I don't know what to say. Well, hold on. I think this is the part where you just say apology accepted. <laughs> oh, of course, um, apology accepted. And I'm sorry for calling you a coward. It's, it's fine. It was, it was rude, sorry. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I'm um, sure you know about um, Ashley's visa. Yes, I do. Good. Um, you both missed each other. <laughs> That's good. I, I, I'll just um, give you guys some money, you know, just go have fun tomorrow, go shopping. Just be happy. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks. That's okay. All right. Thank you so much for everything. Ugh. Babes, why are you thanking me? We're spending my brother's money. You know, I cannot believe he apologized. It felt like an angel touched him or something. Well, I am that you <laughs> speak about. I told you that he was going to come around. He only needed a little push. But really, girl, I cannot wait to rock those dresses. Like. I can't wait to you. I can't wait for you to rock the one I picked for you. Oh, God, that dress is going to be so hot. <laughs> but before I travel, I need to take you to a Chinese restaurant. Let's have dinner. Yes. Chop my money soon. Of course, before I go. <laughs> I can't wait. So much fun. I know. Because it's food. You know. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Ashley, look who we have here. Freda, what is she doing here? Yeah, it's been a while. It's so nice to see you again. <laughs> it's not nice to see you, certainly. What is she doing here? She came to see me, she's back. Wait, what do you mean she's back after everything she said and did to you? Um, I still love her. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, Alexander, is this a prank? Are you pranking me? You know what? I need to see you right now, this minute, privately. Um, it's okay. Uh, I'll be right back, okay? Alright? Good. <laughs> person that changed you into a bitter person i'm changed now I'm, I'm nice to your friend am i not that's not it that's not it at all no you've not changed i don't even you're not in your right senses <sighs> don't insult me ashley i'm your elder brother okay D don't take my calmness for foolishness frida is sorry for what she did She's back into my life and I have forgiven her. Just like that? Yes. Wait, what are you thinking? Who does that? No one is perfect. You're not even perfect yourself. Wait, have you been charmed or something? Because I don't even know what is going on. See, I need your old Alex back. I need him right now. I need you to be rude to Freda. That's totally pointless, Ashley. Totally pointless, okay? Frida is here to stay. I've welcomed her. All right? She's back into my life. So what happens to her husband? What happens to her laji? What even happened? Really? You want to know that? Yes, I want to know. Good. Alaji decides that he would marry more wives. Frida says she can't stay with him anymore. So she came back to me and I have accepted her. She's here to stay and she's going to be living with me. End of discussion. What is happening here? I... 
Yeah. You know I had to cancel my vacation. But I'll make time for that again. Yeah, soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll be traveling to the... Yeah, I'll be traveling to three different countries with my woman. Yeah. Just send me the cost of everything. You know what? Just send it to my mail, okay? Yeah, send it to my mail. All right, then. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Hello? Yeah, um, I bought the, the brand new car I, I got. Yeah, I'd be at home to receive it. Yeah, I'd receive it myself. All right, then. Thank you. Bye. Oh, babe, I uh, brand new car. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. It's okay. It's Thank okay. So I love you too. Mm. I'm happy. <laughs> Ricky, I know I haven't told you about my brother and Freda yet, and I'm sorry for that. Sorry. Sorry for what? For one, I'm sorry for bringing you here to cause your pain. Come on, you do not do that, Ashley. Listen, I, I did exactly just that, okay? I know my brother is seriously making plans for Freda. Ashley, listen. Life is not all about material things. There is a lot more to life than that. Baby girl, I know. Okay? I know. Listen, I know you're a strong woman, but I sometimes hear you cry yourself to sleep. I can't blame you for falling in love with my brother. I can't. You can't control the matters of the heart, and you, the heart wants what it wants. I have spoken to my sister to give me a loan, okay? So I also spoke to an agent, so you're going to get an apartment. I need you to come up with a business proposal, okay? If you cannot come up with one, Oma also has someone that can help. Ashley, you're such a guiding <laughs> angel. I know. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is true that I sometimes cry myself to sleep, but it is not your fault, okay? Maybe I don't deserve to be loved by a man. Come on, don't say that. Don't say that at all. Listen, I know that there's someone special out there waiting for me. Okay? I hope so. I know so. <laughs> um, Ashley, can you please do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Can you not let your brother know when I'll be leaving? Okay, I promise I won't tell him anything. Okay. But I'm still going to take you out. <laughs> sure, sure. We're going to party. <laughs> oh, time is fast, Pencil. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, just walk in front of me. Let me see girl, what you... You look smashing like a puppy doll. The, all that beauty, the black. Hey, 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 hey. What's happening? To what? Where are you going? Eh, eh, don't even think of replying him, okay? You should go and ask Freda. Why do you want to know where we're going? Who's taking you out? That's none of your business. Uh, please go and wait for me in the car. She's okay? not stepping an inch out of this house. You don't have any right stopping her, not intimidating her, okay? She's leaving tomorrow. She... What? See, I'm sorry, I had to tell him. Ruki. You called me by my name. Are you really going to leave without telling me? Because I felt you wanted me to leave. Right from the very first day you set your eyes on me, you did not want me in your house. Yes. I mean, listen, not really, no, but I... Maybe <sighs> I'm ready. Okay, kill, kill me now. You asked me to get dressed, remember, so we can go out. <laughs> Did you really think I was going to take you back? <gasps> what? Oh. You put 
are you saying? What about the... What about the brand new car? The trips? No, a brand new car are you talking about? Have you lost your mind? After everything you did to me? Listen, all of those plans, the trip, the car, was for this woman here. I'm confused. What? There is nothing to be confused about. I don't want you, Freda. I don't need you. Not after everything you did to me. Sorry, I didn't have to laugh. And, um, I think, no, I, I, I don't think this is what you should do. Your time is up. Get out of my house now. And, just to clear the air. I didn't sleep with this person standing here. Oh, bro, you don't have to clear anything, okay? You heard the man. Leave. Bye, Felicia. I will drag you by your fickle this way. Uh, hold on. Um, you can just go. Take the rest of your stuff and get out. Quickly. I won't say it again. But I is speaking Spanish. <laughs> I try not to laugh, but hey, pathetic. Let me go drop my bags. Like, like, do you have to pump your tires now? Just hold on, he'll come. He's, 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 he's one of the best guys. Whoa, hurry up, Joe! Come, come uh. now. He's going to come up for shop. How you doing now? Customer. Yeah. We're going to wait for you since. Again, okay, see, I go wrong. Oh, sorry, sorry, no vex. I didn't come, make a run now. Please tell him to hurry up. It's see okay, the way he's dragging okay. his feet. Just get these tires, I beg, and those ones. No wala no wala. We're on now. What is it? Sammy! Rookie! Your name, is, your name is Sammy? What are you doing here? What happened? Do you know him? Yeah, I, I know him. It's a long story. Wait, babe, you know him? Just go ahead, get the tires. I don't have time, bro. Oh, Wait, wait, wait. Hurry up before the remaining customers you have go. 